Small Gravy with Teresa. We're live. Countdown. <laughs> this is Teresa, and you are live with It's All Gravy with Teresa. Uh, we're here in my kitchen. Teresa's kitchen. Teresa's kitchen. <laughs> In Bowling Green, Kentucky. Did you get, we want you to remember Teresa <laughs> and it's all gravy. Uh, we are going to do something today. Uh, eggs. We're going to talk about eggs. Um, in the restaurant business for years, you would go to the table and you would say, how would you like your eggs? And we were a full service restaurant, uh, so we wanted to cook them like you wanted them. But people would say they wanted over easy when they really wanted over meat. Or they would say that they, I just want uh, my eggs well done. And what they meant was that they wanted um, over medium. <laughs> 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 or if they wanted a boiled egg. We had quite a few customers uh, who liked boiled eggs or they liked poached eggs. So I'm going to show you just some simple ways to do all that. And at the end, uh, we're going to make an omelet, Josh. <laughs> uh, we're going to make an omelet and how simple all that is. And we're going to start with, uh, you know, I talk about my chickens all the time and our little acre survival uh, plot that we've got here going. And our eggs have been, uh, our chickens have been doing great uh, producing. We changed our feed to a higher protein. Uh, we got a little light, uh, solar light to put in there um, so it stays light in their pen a little bit longer. And uh, we started feeding them table scraps. And the production has uh, almost doubled to what it got there for a little bit. So we've got the eggs. And if anybody knows about farm eggs, and a lot of people don't, when they come fresh from the chicken, I leave mine sitting out on the counter. My grandson, Layden, takes care of getting them for me every day. And I've got a bowl sitting over here that he takes and puts them in. And when the, the eggs come out, they have a protective coating on them. So you can actually leave those eggs out for two or three weeks. But if you wash them, uh, you need to go ahead and put them in the refrigerator. The eggs you get from the store, uh, you need to go ahead and put those straight in the refrigerator uh, because the protective coating is already gone. So I'm gonna show you just a, I just put warm water in mine. And I actually use a little dish soap and because of this rain, it's been, um, they've been getting a little bit muddy. So I just scrub them off good and just like lukewarm water. And then I put them here to air dry. And I'll do a few of what we're gonna do today. But I, use, I like using that little scrubber and I use this just for this because they are eggs. And uh, you can see we have different sizes, our little chickens. These are little game hens that I got from my niece, Morgan. And they started laying, and look at the difference in the little eggs. <laughs> but they're pretty little hens, and they got little purple. They, they um, I'm sorry, Morgan, you'll have to put on here what the name of y'all's little farm is. But they raised... Uh, chickens and she just got raised roosters actually and she just got an award for that so way to go Mo. Good job Mo. I didn't know that. Uh, so. Alicia Beckham says hey beautiful lady. Hi sweet girl. <laughs> Hope everything's going good with you and your bunch. All right we'll just let those dry and let me go ahead and wash my hands after messing with them. Mm. So we always want, no matter what we're doing in the kitchen, always wash your hands good, and especially if you're dealing with uh, any kind of animals, produce from outside. No salmonella. No salmonella. So, and uh, first we're gonna poach an egg, and I've got my water warm over here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up where it'll start to boil. Alicia, yeah. Alicia said, all is good. Love you. Keep up the great work. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> and I'm glad everybody's doing good. 
uh, Melissa, my sister, at Melissa's Cafe out in, uh, or country. Yeah, Melissa's Country Cafe. Country Cafe. Yeah. Out at Rockville. She keeps me in aprons, so she got me a new one the other day. So cute. And I don't have to tie it. I just have to slip it over my head. <laughs> and voila. Yeah. Yeah. And I love it because it comes all the way up to the neck. And, uh... I'm a sloppy cook. As anybody who ever saw me cook at the restaurant, the sides of my uh, Teresa's shirt was always had flour or something on it where I'd wipe my hands. Slinging eggs. Slinging eggs. <laughs> um, so first off, we are going to do a poached egg. So our water is boiling, a good rapid boil. We're going to turn it down just a little and gently you are going to break your egg in there, and it will be a little bit warm. That's getting me. I got it going too high. Steam on there. There we go. And they have all kinds of things that you can use that makes this a lot easier. Uh, but this is just the simplest, easiest way not to have a bunch of extra products that you don't need. Save my eggshells. And depending on how you want that, most people who get... I'm sorry, honey, I'm walking around <laughs> so much. I thought I had everything set up to. Um, and you can see how that just sets as soon as you put it in there. See? We're going to let it go just a little bit more. Most people like them uh, poached easy, uh, which means that the yellow is really runny. And there might be a little bit of the white not done. Mm. Um, and I found, like I said, in the restaurant that a lot of people know what they like, but they don't really know how to tell you. Um, so we're going to... That could be a t-shirt. That could be a t-shirt. <laughs> and then there we go. Just use you a slotted spoon. Make sure you get your water off. And you can actually do these two at a time. It's, it's easier just to do one. But there's your beautiful poached egg. You can put that on a piece of toast and be ready for breakfast. <laughs> right. So from there, we've got our, a rapid boil going. And we're going to add another egg. And this is going to be a soft boiled egg. So that's a rapid boil. And we're going to let that go for five minutes. And I am clamped just because I'm a little bit worried about it. I'm going to add a little bit more water to okay. that while we're doing something else. Gotcha. We, uh, last night here, we made homemade pizzas. Mm -hmm. uh, and they turned out so good. Uh, we kind of made a mess out of my oven. Uh, but they turned out really good. Um, and the kids enjoyed doing it, and Mike actually enjoyed doing it, which to get him to smile is a feat. So, <clears throat> oh, do you? Um, I meant to ask, do you add salt to your water I to do boil not. it? Uh, now, if I'm gonna make deviled eggs or something where I've got to peel them, uh, I do add salt to the gotcha. water, but not for the but boiled not eggs. For this, I'm gotcha. Not. Okay, um, so and a little trick that I found, and I actually found this on Pinterest. Um, I'm just going to, I put it in here so I could show you when my egg gets done, I will set it up in here and then you can break the top of it off and, uh, you know, that's how people eat them. They say, I've never eaten one like that, but <laughs> then you take a spoon and you spoon out uh, your egg yolk, unless you have those fancy little egg cups. <laughs> and you can see we always got a pan of biscuits going on. <laughs> So, uh, we went ahead and cooked those this morning because we're going to do different kinds of eggs. And you know me, I'm not going to throw anything away. So, that's what we're going to have for lunch. I'm going to make some gravy and we'll have biscuits and these eggs that I'm mm. cooking up. Uh, that's going to get going. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I've told all of you all, we decided, Clint and I, about this griddle would be the easiest way to show you all how to fry eggs. Uh, but you do, it's the same premise if you're using your skillet. Who's saying something? That, I was just wanted to, I got excited. Uh, Aunt Con Con said her and Jeremy are watching. Oh, good. <laughs> Hello, loves. Hello. 
<laughs> uh, thank you for the pictures. I do love them. <laughs> and Myla was very excited uh, because she didn't think that Jeremy liked Clint at all. <laughs> and so I told her that he used to like him a lot. <laughs> uh, and we had pictures to prove it now. I was 10 and I was wearing an orange Hawaiian button-up shirt. <laughs> and I asked Ma, I said, you used to dress me that way? <laughs> <laughs> that orange is your favorite color. Um, so we've got, if you want to use your iron skillet, uh, which is what I would have used, but we decided on using this griddle. And I've talked to you all before about how um, this is a good investment. And uh, I think you can get one for about $20. And um, we use ours all the time. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have more people, but I'll show you how easy it is to use it. Okay, so we're going to, that's back to a rolling bowl. Uh, so we're going to start this now at five minutes. And we'll come back and see how our uh, soft boiled egg is. Uh, so I've got this on, and I've got it on this on about 300. So if you were using a skillet, you might want to uh, do a test run, you know, spray it, and... Uh, the easiest way is when you break your egg, if you let just a little bit of the white go in there, you'll see if it's too hot. Uh, and I'll demonstrate here. Ashley Gasky says the biscuits look good. Oh, thank you, Ashley. <laughs> Deborah Spence said yummy. Deborah, <laughs> good to see you on here. <laughs> so this is, I'll show you how we'll see. See how that is starting to turn? That's about the temperature that you want it. So we're gonna do one here. It's gonna be over easy. And I'm saving my shells because uh, I will put those in the garden uh, in our compost pile. And this one we're gonna do over medium. And this one, we're going to do well done. And there is a little bit of difference. Uh, well done, you do not break your yolk. yolk. Uh, over well, you would mash your yolk. You would break that open. <clears throat> uh, and you can see how these are all cooking at different... You want this one medium. So we're going to do it like this to make sure we have no white juice when we turn it over. Uh, this is the one that's going to be well. So we're going to do the same here. We're going to pull that apart so it's good and done. This one's already, I wish we'd have put a timer plant because <laughs> this one's getting close to done. Maybe a minute. So you just put it here and just with your wrist, one flip with your wrist. Oh, that was pretty. So the same thing here. That's almost done. So we're going to do just a flip. We're going to let that one go ahead and cook because we're doing it over hard. So here's your over easy egg. Over easy. And we'll show you the difference here in a minute. We'll cut into them. This one, we're still letting it get done. And our egg over here is still boiling. So we're going to turn this one now. And when you do over hard, you see the yolk is still intact. But we're going to let it get good and done before we turn it. And then this medium egg going to be a little bit more done. Well, you can see how firm it is. And you can tell the difference of this one. <laughs> you can see it jiggling. I don't know if you all can see it or not. How that is very soft. Mm -hmm. So there's the over medium. And then while this hard one is cooking, we'll go ahead and cut into these and show you the difference. And this is your easy. 
see how that just spreads over your yolk. That's pretty. And you might have just a little bit of white in there, and that's okay. That's still over easy. Then you got your over medium, and it's going to be, you can go all the way around the edges, and all of your white is done. And then you have your gala inside. But you can tell the difference just in over easy and over medium there. Gotta let that one cook a little bit more. I used to have a customer, uh, Shirley Basham, that wanted well done eggs. And he would say, bust them and burn them. <laughs> so he would want his uh, yellow broken and then you just smash the far out of it. You didn't want any juice anywhere. Egg patty. Yes. Uh, Donna Pointer says, yum, and dip the biscuits in the yummy yolk. Oh, yes. For <laughs> sure. Nelva Rich said that her and Don are watching. Hello, Nelva and Don. <laughs> All right. So see how our little rice worked on that? I put the little rice in there to hold the egg. We'll let that cool off just a second, and we're going to snap the top off and let you see the, the yolk inside. Um, and here we are with this one, and it's almost ready. So you still got a little bit of yellow in there. But I've noticed a lot of people who like them um, over hard, uh, they just ate the yolks. Uh, like they would cut the white part off and just eat the yolk part of it. Hmm. Uh, just my observation. <laughs> uh, all that. So we've got the poached egg, which looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. We've got the over easy, the over medium. And then we're going to crack the top off of this one. Y'all excuse me, I'm not a... <laughs> Oof. Hot. Jeremy, you got any ideas? <laughs> oh, paper towel. Pry it off. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now. Mm. So we let that one go a little bit, but there's your yolk yeah, in there. Yeah, there you go. Nice. So if we, we probably, because I got started talking, we let that cook <laughs> a little bit more than five minutes. Uh, so I would say three to five, depending on how loose you want your yolk. And then here is our well done egg. And we'll cut into it. And I don't know about you all, but I could eat eggs anytime. Mm -hmm. uh, my boys grew up on egg and cheese sandwiches. There you go. Well done. Since y'all can see that. Can you see? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. And the same thing with scrambled eggs. You'll have people come in and they'll say, or even yourself at home. Uh, I keep talking in restaurant window. <laughs> uh, they want a scrambled egg or they want it scrambled soft. They want it scrambled hard. They want it scrambled medium. You know, kind of the same premise. It's how long that you cook it. So we're going to start one off and just show you the different stages of it. See how good my chickens are done? Mm -hmm. Beautiful little eggs. So when you're going to do a scrambled egg, you want to make sure the first thing is to get it mixed up good. So make sure that your um, yolk is broken and that the um, the clear part and the yellow part are all combined really good. Incorporated. Incorporated. That's the <laughs> word I wanted. 
Incorporated. Betty Phelps says hello, Teresa. Hello, Betty. <laughs> um, I was thinking where you asked me if I was Stella's daughter, uh, and uh, Connie sent me a picture of Mama, uh, and I'm assuming it was probably on Clint's 30 now. I don't know. Mm. The picture was probably 15 years ago. Yeah, or better. yeah. And she's sitting in this chair, and it looked like twins in there. <laughs> um, so, here we go. It's all good. <clears throat> so now, if you want them soft, you're going to get ready to take them off just right after this. Because that means kind of like the other ones, there's going to be a little bit of yellow in there, a the little bit of the white. So this would be uh, soft scrambled. And see all that where it's still kind of liquidy? And then you let it go a little bit more. And I uh, just like doing them with a fork. I even, uh, at the restaurant, even cooking as many eggs as we did, um, you know, I still liked using a fork, just thinking that they mixed up better. But there you see, this would be medium. And there you don't have, you don't have much juice. You might have just a little bit. And then if you want them scrambled well or dry, as a lot of people would say, they want them scrambled dry, then you just scramble them like that. You let them set a few minutes on the heat, and then you would turn them. So they're not going to get any, they don't really have any moisture. They're kind of like eating a cardboard box. <laughs> but a lot of people like them like that. <laughs> so there's that. I was just thinking Uncle Wayne would put ketchup on his yeah. eggs. Yeah. <laughs> And eggs are such a good source of protein, and we uh, we eat breakfast for dinner a lot of times. Uh, and the kids like when I take time to make each their individual orders. <laughs> yeah. So the last thing we're going to do today is we're going to make an omelet, and a lot of people get afraid of that thinking it's a big job to do, but it's so easy, and it's so easy to make a good, pretty omelet. Um, we made, uh, I told you, the homemade pizzas last night, so again, living intentional, uh, so we're not going to waste anything. This is some Italian sausage and hamburger cooked together. So that's going to be enough for an omelet. That's just a good tablespoonful. And that's the great thing about omelets. You can use anything in your refrigerator. And there used to be a man that came to the restaurant at Rockfield, the first restaurant in 1989. Uh, and I think his name was Charlie. And here's some fresh garlic. Mm. We're going to add that in. And he loved omelets, and we would make him what we ended up calling the garbage can omelet. <laughs> And that would be any leftovers that we had. Uh, just a few mushrooms. Uh, and we would put in his omelet, we would put potatoes, um, any kind of meats that we had left over, onions, peppers, just anything that you can think of we put in there. So you can do as, as much or as little as you want. Uh, here's a few jalapenos left from last night, and a few onions, and you don't even have to do this step. Um, this is just a thing that you, I'm going to show you how to do them, and then you can do your own preference. As long as your meat is cooked, uh, the vegetables, you could just add them in. Uh, you wouldn't have to do this step of sauteing them. You could just do your eggs, and then a lot of times I'll do a spinach omelet, 
and uh, do the put the eggs out and the cheese and just put the raw spinach straight in there. Uh, so this is again all in how you want to do it. And that's what's so great about this is that we just give you the basics and then you play with it and decide what you want to do. And as uh, Rachel Wade would say, <laughs> a little, what's she call it? O-V-O? Uh, <laughs> yeah. E-V-O-O. -O. Oh, e E-V-O. <laughs> Extra virgin olive oil. Yes, that's what we put in it. <laughs> or whatever the program brand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're going to let those cook a little bit. And we're, I'm going to use two of these little Morgan eggs mm. to make sure we got enough room. But you could use three or four. Oh, right? yeah. Uh, at the restaurant, we always use three. Uh, you can use as many or as little. You can use one egg. Uh, because it, it really <laughs> is a full meal. What is it? Uh, Heather Darty said E-V-O-O. -O. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Heather. My Bowman County's coming out. <laughs> Just put you a little grease on here. Um... So I've got the two eggs in here in the same thing. As Clint says, we want to incorporate those well. <laughs> so we're going to do that. And then if you don't use, a lot of people don't like using pan. Uh, you could use any kind of oil that you want, but you do need a little bit of oil. Mm, the sausage and stuff smells so good. Yeah. You can use uh, any kind of cheese that you like, or no cheese. You don't have to have cheese, but in this house you do. <laughs> uh, so we're going to turn these a little bit. Oh, those smell good. A little bit of peppers. All right. So again, anybody that don't have one of these, you need to get one, mm. one of these griddles. They make things so much easier, oh, or maybe I just think that because I cooked on one my whole life. Uh, but then you pour these out. <laughs> uh, Heather Darty said, I asked Connie where she and Teresa found the Fountain of Youth a while back, and she said, it's basic bacon grease, honey. <laughs> <laughs> That's our secret. That's our secret. Working over a grill with all that bacon grease. Well, thank you, sweetheart. That's awful nice. As I, I was just telling the kids the other day, I cannot believe that I'm 60 plus. 60. I'm going to be, I'm 60. I'm gonna be <laughs> 61 this year. And I can't hardly stand it. I'm like, where in the world has the last 40 years went? Crazy. Uh, you can do this however you like. I like putting my cheese in first. And the same, you make little holes in here so you don't have any pockets of raw eggs. So I'm going to put a little cheese, and you can put as little as you want, as much as you want. There is... <laughs> Bonnie Alexander said, you are a beautiful 60 plus. <laughs> oh, Bonnie. <laughs> you're a sweetheart, honey. I think you're right there close with me, aren't you? Or am I outing you? <laughs> This is the easy, easy part. If you're in a skillet, you do the same thing. You're just going to fold it in thirds. <laughs> she said, shh. <laughs> <laughs> so half and half. Just like that. A little bit of brown is okay. That means that, you're, that it's good and done. And the good thing about having your, um, your stuff over here is ready to go, your filling... We're going to turn it one time, uh, so when we pick it up and we put it on the plate, the fold is going to be on the bottom, mm. just because I'm a freak like that. <laughs> fold on the bottom. <laughs> there. Uh, if you wanted to make it pretty, 
Now would be the time that you would add a little something on top if you wanted to. Some if you wanted your salsa to get warm, you could go ahead and add your salsa mm. now or a little more cheese on top. We're going to let that cook just for a minute to make sure it's good and done inside. So Jeff Watson said, have you ever thought about opening up a restaurant? Heck no. <laughs> My boys are grown. Don't you know that? <laughs> and thank y'all for supporting us so well all those years. <laughs> we appreciate it. And Heather said she had one for many years. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, a lady last night, uh, oh, I can't think of her name, Bonda, um, sent me, um, message on some little things that we're going to try to do for kids mm. uh, some little toast animals um, and i was telling her we had been talking about what my dream kitchen would be would be a uh, eight top gas burner stove with a griddle in the middle and a pizza oven on the side and maybe a deep fryer stuck in the middle and she said well you might as well go back in the restaurant yeah <laughs> that's a whole kitchen <laughs> Well, maybe my, my kitchen's okay. <laughs> so here we go. We've let that go. Just one flip, and you're ready. So pretty. And then, again, you can dress this however you want. If you want to put salsa on it, if you want sour cream. The omelets are unlimited uh, to what you can do for them. They're a great way to use leftovers. Uh, a lot of times we'll put steak, make a steak and cheese omelet if we have a leftover steak or even pork roast. Uh, just anything that you think of, uh, you can put inside an egg and it's going to make it a little better. Uh, so we'll cut into this and let you see. Oh, sorry, Clay, I'm coming. No, yeah, it's all right. And let you see all the goodies. There you go. The good cheese. There's our onions. Your egg's good and done. And you're ready to go. So, <laughs> I hope y'all learned a little bit about eggs. Uh, remember on your, uh, we did this one a little bit too long. Uh, so make sure to, when your water is a roll, make sure there's enough water in your pan to cover the egg. And that's what I had done. Uh, I did the poached egg and it had used up part of my water. Uh, so I added more water to cover the egg and then I let it cook a little bit too long. Uh, but a rolling boil, put it in there and then let it boil for five minutes. Uh, and it should be a soft, this would be like a medium. Uh, and the little rice trick I thought was pretty cute. Pinterest, thank you. <laughs> I think that was eight ways to make an egg. Eight ways to make an egg. <laughs> if I counted right. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you all so much for watching us. Uh, we have loved doing this. Uh, I love the lives because I like talking to you all. Um, and we are going to kind of keep doing it. Um, that we have, um, if you will, uh, like and share, uh, anybody who you think might be interested in just some good country cooking. Um, we have, what is it we got, Clint? Patreon. Oh, we do have Patreon. Uh, if you want to go to the, that website and check that out, we would appreciate, uh, if you would look at that. If you're interested, hook up. Uh, we also are on YouTube now, uh, and I understand that it's a little hard to uh, remember your password and your email address and all that, uh, but if you would go to that site, uh, again, when we get to a 1,000, that opens some new doors for us. Um, I think that's it. Uh, support small business. Uh, try to uh, wear your mask social distance so we can get over this mess and get back to living. Um, I think I told you all before that we decided to go on and live life a few months ago, uh, but that entails wearing a mask when we go out and uh, keeping our hands washed and hand sanitizer, uh, just kind of using your noggin a little bit. I think that's it.
I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. And God bless.